All right, so the movie I want to talk to you guys about today is called Sing Street. Now, to be honest, this is not the type of movie I generally go for. I saw the preview for this one maybe three or four months ago, maybe six months ago, and to be honest, it really didn't do much for me. But the reviews were so good, I figured I should check it out at some point. So I was able to see it a couple days ago, and it was actually a really good movie. The movie's a little bit kind of sappy and cheesy, and the writing's kind of all over the place, but it's a pretty good film overall. The music's fantastic. I mean, it's not the kind of music I would listen to, but the fact that they put these four or five or six songs together just for this film, it's pretty good stuff. It, it definitely fits the vibe of the film, right? You've got these young teenage boys. They're like 14 or 15 years old, and they essentially start this band to get girls, okay? Especially the main character. He wants to date this girl, so he says he's in a band even though he's not at all. So that he said, well, you know, I guess we got to start a band now. So that's really what the first half of the film is about, is about this kid and some his kind of uh, motley crew starting this band. All of the kids are charming enough to where you really do like most of them. There's really none of the kids that are kind of annoying or obnoxious. The writing isn't over the top trying to make these kids the funniest people on earth. It's not really like that at all. It's, just, it's kind of a subtle look at this kind of fun, over the top, 80s uh, Irish pop band. The film also has some romance to it. It's, it's kind of a little bit of a love story that actually does have a little bit of weight to it. It's not like these two teenagers that you really think it's kind of a stupid relationship. It actually feels like there's something to it. Now this is written and directed by John Carney. You may have seen one of my favorite films of his which is called Once. Now the movie itself of Once, if you ever get a chance to see it, is a really solid film but on top of that you've got this incredible soundtrack, right? I don't know if you guys know who the frames are or Glenn Hansard but uh, or Marquette Arglova. What an incredible, incredible soundtrack. Probably the best film soundtrack of all time. One thing that's nice about the film is it doesn't kind of spend a ton of time on all the negative stuff. A lot of films nowadays like this, they, they're kind of happy and they're, and they're charming films, but there's always this big 20, 30 minute scene or 20 minute section of the film that is really bringing you down, trying to create you know, false problems before you can kind of get your way out of it. And this one doesn't do that too much. There obviously are some serious issues. There are some heavy things. This is 1980s Ireland after all. So you've got some kind of, uh, some tension, some economic problems. You've also got some marital problems between some of the parents. It's pretty interesting stuff. Overall, I definitely would recommend the film. It was better than I thought it would be. I don't think it's as good as like the 98% or whatever it has on Rotten Tomatoes, but it is a good film. I give it a four out of five overall. I definitely would recommend you check it out. And especially if this is the kind of movie that you like, you're gonna love it. And if you're someone like me who doesn't really like this kind of cheesy, sappy type of stuff, um, I still think you'll get some enjoyment out of it. It's still a really well-made film. So I hope you guys liked the review. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments of Sing Street, and I'll see you guys at the next Culture Critic Review.